Bumble Bum. I will return in a moment. Forgive me. I require much Java this fine day. Ah, oh, right. Happy Monday, -o, and welcome -o, to Paintingo. Ah, oh. right. How are you all fearing? Are you fe are you fearing good? I'm fearing quite well, Defender Roo. How are you like? Are we all fearing? Are we all fearing things? <laughs> it is important to connect to your fearings. <laughs> Those who do not fear. The feel becomes fear. <laughs> like. Oh god, how are we? How are we all? Griffo Bear! Demon Hunter Bear, Dick Fordu, welcome -o. Oh, I had to go, to, like I was walking downstairs. Painting goo, painting goo, painting goo, 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 goo. Um, I've like slightly rearranged things. So the laptop is more forward and like these two are kind of like a bit more in frame. They're like right there and you can like see them way more clearly. 
and uh, everything is still within reach, you know. And I've also got way more room for my legs and knees and shit. So today, today is a good day for painting. Ooh, hold on while I adjust. I must, I must descend to proper painting goo posture. Allow me to do so. Descending. Descension complete. Right. <clears throat> now that, that the glorious top notu is in frame, I may begin painting goo. <laughs> How are we all? Are we all where? I need to road the parrot. I must road this parrot. Must be eroded. That's a painting go I genuinely can't wait to do. Just fucking like do a, one of them red. They're like predominantly red, but they have multiple colors on them. Do like one of them fucking like Iago out of fucking uh, Aladdin. I'll just do a parakeet like laid out on a road. <laughs> Looks like he's got like after getting a smack of a car or some shit like that. I'll do like tire marks on him or something. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Okay, okay. I'm actually going to, I'm going to put that there, this here, those over there, and this right there. A slight rearranging of the painting goo was in order today. Oh, my big fat brack. Rook at it. Rook at it in all its glory. All oh, that brack. 500 milliliters. 500 mirror readers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a bit, I'm a bit delirious, and I'm also like fucking full of ca caffeine, and I didn't go to bed till like fucking three o'clock in the morning or some shit. Like uh, Demon Hunter Bear and I were um, engaging in galactic conquest. <laughs> it was fucking. It, last night was hilarious. Me and Demon Hunter Bear and his Mrs. Sonya were just chilling out playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 and like, man, it was like hilarious crack. Absolutely hilarious crack. I haven't had that much fun with like a couple of peeps on an online multiplayer thing in a long time. It was extremely cathartic for me. So shout out to Demon Hunter Bear for uh, satiating my gamer itch shout out to uh, demon hunter bear's mrs sonia who was like a fucking absolute legend really funny really funny female iron man baru ah the female the female greetings from greece my beloved female has graced us with her presence how are you my love how goes it she was telling, she was regaling me of a hilarious uh, moment, uh, was it yesterday? Where her and her grandmother and her mother went to a coffee shop or some shit, like, and <laughs> her grandmother ended up getting, like, uh, chocolate, like, it was a hot chocolate, like, all over her. <laughs> and apparently she just took it like an absolute champion, like, you know, ah, well, you know. <laughs> shit happens, doesn't it? <laughs> I can well imagine your grand being like that and all like just being like ah sure whatever like <laughs> fuck it <laughs> I stayed up way too late last night way too late I'm a bold boy I am a bird boy I, like I said it like three times to Demon Hunter Bear, I was like, oh, I need to force myself to go to sleep because otherwise I'll just stay here all night playing fucking Star Wars with you. Like, and he was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Like, you know, and then like it got to like two o'clock in the fucking morning, <laughs> and I was still just like, I wasn't even like for about twenty minutes or half an hour at the end there, I wasn't even playing Star Wars with him. I was just fucking rolling a cigarette before bed and fucking. Uh, and talking shit, like, you know, like, just fucking rabbiting on. I had, like, two glasses of wine. Painting the goo. Painting goo. Um, two glasses of wine. 
while I was playing and all that, and it was, it was fucking hilarious, crack. Um, Skousbarrow! Haro! You gonna see the, uh, the Acropolis today, are you? <laughs> the female is safely in Greece. Yeah, I know, like, it's a bit of a fucking... It's, <laughs> safely in Greece is a bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> But she's grad. She's with like you know. She's not on her own, right? She's with her fam. Mm. Oh, coffee! I said it to her multiple times. I was like, "You're going to, you're going to Greece? Fucking watch yourself. <laughs> stay with the group. Fucking don't stray. And just stay away from all the men. <laughs> Painting group. I fucked up the fan flick, but like, still caught it. Like, I managed to catch it. Like, <laughs> I may not be on flying form, but I have still got form. Oh yeah, she'll take lots of pictures. She's always whipping her iPhone out, and fucking whether it's food or fucking. You know, sites like sites that she's gonna see or some shit or just random stuff like the video she sent me of uh, her and her gran and her ma. Like they were they were on these like swinging chairs in this like cafe thing. Like and uh, apparently moments after the video that she sent me, which was quite funny in itself. Like her grandmother was just swinging on this big like extravagant chair with chains coming off it, and she was just like talking about her brother Sam. Like you know, and then. Uh, Apparently, like, seconds after that, her ma went to sit on the chair with her and, like, rocked it a bit just as her gran was about to take a sip from her hot chocolate and just, like, covered herself in fucking hot chocolate. <laughs> That's only ever happened to me, like, a few times in my life where, like, you're literally about to take a sip of something, like, and something just goes boom and, like, happens and it's just everywhere, like, you know? Like, I remember being in a smoking area one time with a pint of Guinness or some shit. And it wasn't even, like, in an actual pint, pint glass. It was, like, in one of them fucking shitty beakers. So it was a shitty pint of Guinness in a shitty plastic beaker. And uh, I remember being in the smoking area. And, like, I was trying to... Like, I think I handed somebody a lighter. And, like... Or, like, I was, like, lighting somebody's cigarette, like, right beside me. Like, you know, I was just, like, click, like this. And while, while I was lighting it for them, I went to take a sip... And then somebody like bumped into me from behind and like it just went fucking all over me like there's nothing worse than that shit like well don't get me wrong there's plenty of things worse than that but like it's a saying it's a pretty shit saying oh there's nothing worse it's like oh come off it there's plenty of things worse than getting a pint spilled on you like you know oh god oh Glorious Java. It's end. It's Independence Day in Greece today. How dare you miss the drop? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I've had fuck alls. You're. You should be glad I'm even here. <laughs> I I woke up at like fucking twelve, and I just like got myself a fucking big thing of water and just started like almost immediately just started doing my fucking qigong, qigong shit like i was fucking sweating and I, I did it so long that like when i stopped doing it i was like like you know i went back to the like the final the final stance and i was just like oh yeah i feel like you know f my body feels full and my muscles are like full and like the fucking chi is flowing and i'm like and then i looked at my phone and i was like Oh fuck, it's like 10 to 3! Shit, I've been doing this for like an hour! <laughs> I had like fucking 10 minutes to like come in here, set it all up, and like rearrange things, and then fuck it. That's why I put it like, uh, I put it in the telegram. I was like, uh, painting goo will commence in 15 minutes because I need a coffee. Like, I knew I was gonna, I, w I wasn't gonna be. I looked at the time and I was like, I have, I have 3 minutes! To put this costume on and go make coffee. Like, it's not happening. Like, oh god. Yes, yes, yes. Clap for painting goo. Everybody clap for painting goo. It's Monday, you. And Defender Roo is here. And painting goo has commenced. In crapping. Crap. 
to your <laughs> crap like your rife depends on it. <laughs> I say <laughs> to <laughs> Do you imagine, like, instead of, like, instead of fucking some kind of communist, like, dystopian thing where they're like, pointing guns at the crowd and, like, putting neon signs up that say, like, applause and, like, clap now or whatever? It's like, crap now. <laughs> like, throw your pants and start shitting in the name of the Emperor right now! Do it now! It's. <laughs> Depending on whether or not you've, like, ate that day, you know, it, it'd probably be fairly easy to do. Somebody pointing a gun at you and be like, SHIT YOURSELF NOW! DROP YOUR PANTS AND SHIT ON THE GROUND NOW! <laughs> 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 like... There's a, there's a fucking video game called Castle Crashers, and there's, like, I think it's the second or third level, where you're going through a forest. And it's one legit one of the funniest fucking things I've ever experienced because you're like you're just it's the whole game's hand drawn and it's a two D it's a side scrolling action adventure hack and slash thing, um, paint paint, so uh, you're just like going from left to right on the screen like, on fucking, <laughs> uh, because it's in a forest there's like you know trees in the background and bushes and stuff and all like, and in that level they show various like um. You know, like forest fl uh, fauna, you know, like uh, deers and rabbits and like, you know, the usual suspects like. But there's a fucking owl perched up on a branch at the start of the level. <laughs> um, that like, like the fucking camera like stops and it like focuses in on the owl. And then the two, like you're just looking at the owl and the owl is just like looking vacantly like at the screen. And then this like thundering noise happens like elsewhere in the forest in the background and you can see the trees shaking and shit like and you're like oh what the fuck is that and the owl's eyes like go really wide and he's like oh shit like you know and then it happens again and he he shits himself and then it happens again and he like he shits himself for like four full seconds just that this white stream of bird shit is just going down on the bush below him <laughs> and then the noise stops the noise in the background stops and the owl just like falls over. <laughs> he just like, just like tilts. He just like falls over like a fucking statue and like crashes on the bush below. And three times throughout that level, you you never like you don't get to see what this monstrous thing is that's causing all of this ruckus in the forest and the, and the animals are like fleeing in terror of this thing. But there's like three different sections. The first one is like the owl and it shits itself to death and falls in a bush. The second one is there's a fucking, um, there's a big bear that comes out from behind a bush. And you, and the first thing you think is like, oh shit, like, you know, uh, impromptu boss fight with this big bear. Because the bear comes out and looks all mean from behind two bushes. And then the thundering sound happens and the bear goes like, Arr! and like shits itself to death. And then, and then you get to the like another section and there's a fucking like there's like four or five deer and they're just like grazing on the grass minding their own business and then the sound happens and three of them run but one of them starts shitting itself but like it's one of the funniest things i've ever seen it goes from grazing to like looking up with that like you know that chicken, you know the way deer, they kind of look like fucking, like similar to some cows. It depend on, depending on the context, like those animals can look like they have like absolutely no consciousness because the way their eyes are situated, they just look like, they look derpy, like, you know, and uh, he just like, fuck it, he just, he just goes from grazing on the grass to just like upright looking all derpy and just starts shitting himself and like moves forward. <laughs> It like propels him across the screen <laughs> and he just disappears into the into the forest like <laughs> Oh it's legit one of the funniest things I've ever fucking seen in anything like so fucking funny Spilling a pint is alcohol abuse That's hilarious I love the way people adhere to the Japu speak like quite like, quite stubbornly, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Although, you didn't do it, like, in at the start. Spilling, 
a pint is alcohol a bruce. <laughs> like, that should be... Spearing a pint is arkar har like, like, man, try to say alcohol in Japu. ar ko har Arkahar. A Bruce. That's fucking... Why'd you put an R in abuse? <laughs> like, that... Like, you're fucking up all over the place, Dick Ford. Like, come on, like... Right. What are we painting gooing today? We get, we get, we're gonna get this bitch wet. We're gonna get this parrot wet. We're gonna wet the parrot to get the goo to fro. Um, if anyone's asking, yes, I'm perfectly aware of how utterly ridiculous I sound on this stream. <laughs> Sometimes trying to speak Japu and stay in character, staying in character, actually like fucks with my it fucks with my mouth like my jaw doesn't move right sometimes because like my mind is like okay replace all the l's with r's and then put this accent on and then do this and it like makes me feel retarded sometimes oh right the parrot is wet let us get the bitches wet the bitches of painting goo are many and varied in size and shape Here on Painting Goo, we take excellent care of our bitches, he says, while one of them is clearly stiff and bent, like some kind of concrete fag. Mm. Oh, the rest of them are okay. This one's a bit fucked. Let's get this bitch wet -o. Much better. Painting goo 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 goo. <coughs> oh yeah. That's how you know it's time for painting goo. My my gut knows it's time for painting goo. It's like begin expelling all internal demons via gepu. For those of you do who do not know what gepu means, it apparently is burp in Japanese. Which I think is hilarious. And if I think it's hilarious, it's probably hilarious. Oh! Right. First things first. I'm gonna make some grey. Uh, I actually picked the wrong bitch. Fuck! This a bitch will do. Get this bitch wet. Not that bitch. Can't be wetting all the bitches, you know? You gotta pick the right one and keep that one wet. <laughs> Cue a load of fucking man and get a load of feminists being like, he's so he's so vulgar and misogynistic. Like, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> oh god. I put a, we have like raw honey here with like a chunk of the honeycomb like in the jar. And I watched a video over the weekend that was like, honey's actually like uh, really good for your testosterone levels. And uh, it like does shit chemically and hormonally to you and all. And I was like, how much sense does that make? I mean like fucking bears like just like claw open a hive and just stick their whole paw in it and just fucking like eat up all the honey and all the all the gum, all the chewy stuff. Like, honeycomb's actually weird. Like, you can tell that they probably use honeycomb to, like, uh, make a lot of gelatins and stuff for candy because it's, like, similar in uh, that kind of texture and uh, what would be the word? Uh, consistency? The consistency of it, like, the... Um, it's, like, chewy... But like slight, slightly gritty as well. Not, not not really gritty. It's weird. It's bitty. It's definitely it's like gummy. I can almost imagine them making like chewing gum out of it. Like, um, yeah. Apparently, it's really good for you. Like, this whole like beeswax shit, honeycomb, fucking like just like getting like the whole thing, like the 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 honeycomb and the 
honey in the in the jar and just like taking a chunk of the comb and like a big dollop of the honey and I put it in my coffee. It's fucking delicious. It's supposed to be really good for you. I just imagined like I just picked well, not that I imagined, like I, I pictured like, you know, bears just like owning a beehive. You know? Not owning as in like property, owning as in like viciously attacking and d destroying with their paws and their claws and their teeth. Um and it just like made it made so much sense. I was like fucking like bears are one of the most like intimidating fucking powerful land mammals around, like Ugh. Make, l makes loads of sense. Yeah, I like honey. I, li I like honey. It's like, it doesn't, it, it, you know, it doesn't taste like... Like, the first time I had raw honey, I was uh, like, I was like, hmm, yeah, it's nice. Like, you know, but there's like, there's like a, there's a unique taste profile to it. And especially with the preconception that like, when, like the way I grew up is like, you think honey is going to be like, you just connect it to sugar because like car caramel and stuff. At least I did anyway. It was like, oh, it's going to be really sweet. But then when you have it, you're like, yeah, it's sweet. But it's like that natural sweetness where it's like, you know, it's awesome. Honey, like, honey's, like, really good, like, for all sorts of shit. Like, you put honey on a wound. Um, and it'll, like, help heal it and shit, like. Help, uh, help staunch the bleeding. Help, uh, the skin cells, like, adhere together and shit, like. It's awesome. I didn't know Greece had been uh, Ottoman Empire for 400 years. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, that's what, like, fucking, uh... The, like, uh, the female was, like, she was, like, fucking... Yeah, because she, like, took a picture of this Acropolis thing. And she was like, oh, look at that. And I was like, what? Do they have, like, a Colosseum there? And she was like, oh, no, it's not, like, a Colosseum. It's, like, a fucking... It's, like, a temple or some shit, like... And, uh... That's where she was like, she was like, their Independence Day is tomorrow. That's oh, today, because she was saying it to me yesterday. Uh, their Independence Day is uh, is tomorrow and all. And uh, she was like, I didn't, like, they have their own Independence Day. Like, it's, you know, and like, she can sound like such a bimbo sometimes, but like, it's just because she's like, you know, she, she didn't notice, like, she, and she's like, interest, she finds it interesting. And she's like, you know, I didn't know they had their own Independence Day, like, and they were, like, you know, blah, blah, and all, like, and, like, I did, but I don't know the details, like, you know what I mean, like, because I'm, like, vaguely interested in that shit, like, so I would have heard that years ago, that, like, you know, fucking all, all this crap, like, <laughs> or even recently, like, so she's, like, saying this stuff, like, you know, they have their own Independence Day, and I was, like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, I just think it's so funny sometimes, like, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, like what's going on in fucking uh, what's that place fucking called now? I was watching the Lotus Ears talk about it. Um, what's the fucking country they were talking about? I can't fucking remember now. It had the where's MS13 from? It's not Argentina. It's like a Latin American country, I think. El Salvador? Is that what it is? El Salvador? But basically, like, this guy is after, like, this populist dude is after, like, you know, taking over and allegedly, like, arresting and killing, like, most of the MS-13 gang. And, uh... What else? Fucking... He's trying to make Bitcoin. They're, like, um... He's trying to make Bitcoin their uh, their currency, like the nation's currency. Fascinating stuff. It's gonna be really interesting to see how that shit pans out. Like, yeah, El Salvador. BMS. What's BMS? BMS. Yes, El Salvador. Um. Oh, Dick Ford, do you you have your own fucking? You you keep it. We keep bees. They make special frames just for honeycombs. That's awesome. Juju's da uh, has his own bees as well. Fascinating individual. Uh, honey on a wound will leave no scars. Now that I didn't know, but I knew I knew it helped. They typically only sell 
the comb when a hive dies it would be rare beeswax is used to solidify liquid oil like for a salve or lipstick interesting i love all that alchemical knowledge that real like using raw materials and mixing them together and being able to like get various effects i find that shit fascinating okie dokie i need to get some orange going um i get orange going in the middle here so we get some yellow and we get some red and we get some orange I love doing stuff like that. Like when me and Demon Hunter were playing uh, Star Wars last night, every time it would come up and be like, defeat, like you have been defeated. It just comes up on the screen, defeat. And like, sometimes I love like fucking around with the phonetics. And I kept being like, defiat. We have been defiated. <laughs> you know, like, it's like, how do you, what's the Latin word for defeat? Defiat. <laughs> I just love fucking around with words like, like, I don't know if I said it on the stream before, I think I did, but, like, uh, I remember one, like, one of the things that made me piss myself laughing one day was, like, I was at the breakfast table while we were doing that Irish, like, summer camp thing with a bunch of other lads. And, uh, I think one of us asked the, the, the owner of the house we were staying in at the time, we were like, uh, so, Roseanne, like, what are we, what are we going to have for dinner uh, later today? And she was like, bolognese, you know, like, <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> she had this kind of, like, weird northern irish accent like um like we were in donegal but that's i don't think that's actually northern ireland it doesn't is it it's still ireland it's on the left i think i'm not sure um but uh one of the lads just like immediately turned around and was like i love me some bolognese <laughs> and i was like what the fuck <laughs> he's like bolognese like ja, bolognese <laughs> And that was the first time I was just like, that's hilarious. If you just like pronounce words like kind of, like just by looking at them and basing it on just the phonetics, like and break it down and shit, like. And it's also really interesting to do when you're when you're learning like etymology and stuff like that to just like pronounce shit differently and it'll sound like other shit from other languages and all. Like, I spoke about this before, where like uh, if you're speaking Osgoelge, if you're speaking Irish, like our, our national language. Um, and you say shin a, which is S I N, and then E with a little father on it. Um, it means that's it. All right, so shin a, that's it. That is all, right? And then if you're speaking Japanese, and you go shin a, I don't know if it's spelled the same, um, but like, and I, I don't, I think it's like two separate. I think it's S I and then N E, or it might be S I N and then E as well. I'm not sure. But shin a is like die or i will kill you or like you know um you die you know or some shit like that like it's like a threat like you know and i thought that was fascinating when i made that connection because i was like that makes sense because like if we if the irish say shin a as in that's it it's the end of something you know that is all or like it, it's also used for shin a as in like um If you were to point something out, like that is it. Shine on Shine on Shin, that is it there, you know? Um But like the Japs use it for like and I, I don't know if they just use it for that of like, you know, fucking like when they're about to engage in battle, it's like Shine! You know, like or when they're about to kill someone. But it has a similar contextual usage where it's like, you know, they're like announcing the end of something, you know, whether it be your life or like some kind of like moment in time. I like I love that shit. I find that shit fascinating because like that's the stuff that makes me think about like essentially all languages are really the same and function with like fundamental parameters and rules, but all the different cultures and all the different uh, races and like sub sub cultures and stuff have just like created their own versions of all these things you know like that's all i see a culture as you know is like your version of something fundamental so i'd love i'd love to spend a few years actually just going around the world and like checking everything out for myself like 
It's fucking dangerous, though, depending on where you go. Like, you know, like, if you just hit up all the main tourist spots, like, chances are you'd be fine, you know. But, like, if you actually want to go and see the realm for what it actually is and, like, go to, like, war-torn places and go to, like, run-down places and, go, you know, go to, like, you know, places that, like, you probably shouldn't go to, <laughs> like, if you're a foreigner, just showing up with a backpack being like, so what's the crack here, you know? What do you guys do for fun? And it's just, like, a load of fucking, like, cannibals or something with tattoos and fucking, like, like, just some horrible shit out there, like, you know? But I find it fascinating, like, I think that's why, like, all these, like, city live, you know, it's like, just, why don't you just live in a city where it's all modern and everything's nice and we all get a lot, it's all bollocks, like, do you know, it's this, like, it is, like, it's an avoidance of, like, reality, where it's like, come, come to the city, live digitally, you know, <laughs> like, it's like, fuck that shit, like, we're still making orange. Oh, that's a nice orange. It's a very red orange, though. I think I should put more yarrow in this orange. A rick a bit of yarrow. So we are currently doing some kind of Jewish roller coaster. How do we know it's Jewish? The bagel. That's how we know. Painting goo goo goo. Goo, goo. Oh, it's already becoming brown because I slipped a little black in there. A dirty little bit of brack got in my fucking... How dare you, sir? Listen to me, I'm like a fucking demigod and I'm blaming the paint. What kind of madman am I? Yeah. Painting goo goo goo. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it tastes like beeswax. <laughs> Painting goo 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 All right Painting goo goo I'm gonna be sticking on the retro 80s shit for the second half cause I haven't listened to it in a while, so if Two Acre drops in, he's probably going to be like, Yes! Raving Goo! <laughs> I've we haven't listened to Raving Goo in a while. Oh, I'm going to have to make this arm thicker. Yeah, okay. Simple shit like that really fuck, like, annoys me. I'm so anal about stuff like that, like... Like, I know m most of the fucking painting goes and stuff, it's like, looks like a child's fucking drawing or some shit, like. But even little things, like, like when I when I accidentally made one of the Framingo gangsters' arms too, like, thick compared to the rest of them, like, it, like, really annoyed me. <laughs> it looks funny, and, like, you know, it's, like, it doesn't mean that, and, like, do you know what I mean? But, like, it really fucking got to me, I was like... Because the rest of them look proper, like, do you know what I mean? They look like those fucking... Do you ever see those videos? I know Demon Hunter has seen them. Uh, you ever see those videos of, like, where they just edit little black uh, stickman arms onto birds that are, like, doing things? <laughs> it's legit one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. There's one with an American eagle, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's actually so fucking funny. I might put it on... I fucking, uh, I need to get better at being able to just put stuff on the stream if I want, like. That shit's fucking hilarious. But they're, like, th most of the f flamingos looked like that. Like, they had a, they had a legit, like, proper, like, cartoonish uh, feel to them, like. And then there's just one of them with this big, like, 
fucking mongo arm. <laughs> But in it's like that in itself lends it like its own charm and shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I fucking I was like I was talking to Demon Hunter Bear a lot last night about like how much I love doing painting goo. Like, I love doing this stream. Like, it's so much fucking fun and all the shit that's come out of it. Like, like I wouldn't be doing a tactical turtle T-shirt if it wasn't for this stream and the shit we do. And like we were talking about that Xeno Boon thing. For those of you who don't know what the Xeno Boon is, um. I'll try, I'll try and get an image of it. Like, but I, I did a painting goo like months ago at this stage, where we were in Africa. I can't remember where in Africa, uh, but we were in Africa and like I painted this scene where like there was an elephant's carcass and its head had been ripped off by this thing that is like it was a hybrid between a baboon and the the Xeno black alien thing from the movie uh, the movie franchise Aliens. Um, I, I'm, I'm always trying to do that. I'm always trying to give, like, a good enough context to what I'm saying because a lot of the shit I say is so niche. You know, like, in a sense, you know. I know Aliens is a big movie and shit, like, and most people know what baboons are. But, like, you get what I'm talking about. Like, Xenoboon, what the fuck? But it's legit one of the funniest fucking things I've painted so far. And... It's not because I'm, like, incredibly creative or any of these things. Like, it's just because, like, it came out with a fucking hat. Paint, paint. Um, like, Garlos. Brother Garlos came out of the hat, didn't you, Garlos? Come, remind the people of their duties here on Painting Goo. Brother Garlos was one of the many machinations that came from the hat. A formerly cocaine-addicted tiger. Owned by a Colombian drug lord. Known only as Don Branco. I sequestered him. I felt for him. I felt for the tiger. I felt for the kitten. The cocaine-riddled kitten. And I sequestered him. I usurped his services from this drug lord. And I put him to work. And to answer your question, no. His arms don't get tired. He has confirmed this. I've asked him many times. Because I was concerned. I was like, Carlos. Do your arms ever get tired of holding the Rika and subscriber your cunts sign? And he said, no. Never. He is stalwart in his advertisement of the stream. And that is why Garlos is one of our beloved members of Painting Goo. And that does not mean I have forgotten about our glorious Titus Beacus Croas. Who, if you zoom in, or if you're watching on a 50-inch screen, you will be able to see Creary. <laughs> Astride the gong. And Mini Beru. Ringer of the gong. Well, no, purveyor of the map is the bear. I don't know how I'm going to get the bird to ring the gong, but we'll get there. <laughs> like, do you imagine if I actually trained a crow to ring the gong? How epic that would be. <laughs> like... I bet you I could do that and all. Crows are fucking smart, motherfuckers. Like, I don't think that would. I, I don't think that would be an impossible thing. Be to train a fucking uh, train a crow to ring a gong. I think he could actually achieve that fairly handily. Okay, now we're gonna neutralize and reduce. This brown color that I was using for the bear, and we're gonna bring it down a bit, and we're gonna use it for the bagel. Painting goo 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 goo. Bit of white. Painting goo goo. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Baker. Hmm. Wood Rider Dogu, welcome to painting goo. How's the elf? Is he still alive?
Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Woo. You're dead right, Dick Ford. We just call him Woo. <laughs> Woo <-oo. laughs> BMS is Barrio Mahados, I think, from El Salvador. MS13 is Mara Salvatruca from Los Angeles. I'm about 50% sure on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Friend from El Salvador says things changed almost overnight there and a lot of investments and money pouring in. Yeah, but I think it's all like a big scam because a lot of it's been doing with it's a lot of it is being done with Bitcoin. And uh, the lads on the Lotus Eaters even said that, like, and I, I, from what I can tell, they genuinely agree and believe with this shit, where they genuinely think it's a good idea for uh, a nation to have an energy-backed economy, which is what they're calling a Bitcoin currency. Like, if you're actually going to use Bitcoin as a currency, they, they, I, I, I don't see how that works. Like, as long as you can keep it working, it works. But that, it's like a lie, you know? It's eventually gonna, like, you'll, you will have times where, like, the whole grid goes down and, like, it's all just wiped or some shit. Like, it doesn't make any sense to have a, something that's supposed to represent value in your uh, society is actually just a belief system. Like, they all just, like, agree to adhere to the idea or concept that they all trade in a currency that ha that isn't like tangible I think that's crazy I think that's utterly crazy um, did you accidentally make brown no I did it on purpose every time I make brown I go to town and I do it on purpose <laughs> I'm gonna go to town on this brown. <laughs> Better grab a wet wipe. <laughs> oh my god! Garlos knows all the gang re <laughs> references. <laughs> Make the gong out of glass, and most birds would just fly right into it. <laughs> he just put like he put like a feed tube behind it. And make the gong out of glass. <laughs> it wouldn't work though. It wouldn't make a noise. Like, would it be? Like, you'd have to make it out of crystal, you know. And it, like, and and then like a, a crow flying into it would probably like smash the thing. <laughs> like, you'd have to like, you'd have loads of crystal gongs like pre-made that you could just like put on the fucking uh, on the stand, like on the what would you call that? Like on the artificer or fucking. What would that be like on the wooden erection? <laughs> I don't know. Like <laughs> every time a crow smashes into it, you just replace it with a fresh one. Like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> shit, like I find shit like that so funny. Like, it, how funny would it be if like? I actually could set it up like that, like, in real, like, <laughs> I like blow a whistle or clap or something, like, or like, <laughs> fucking, Tobias, gong me, <laughs> and the fucking crow just flies in off screen, for, like, flies in from off screen and just crashes into this gong, and makes this horrific, like, high pitch smashing noise, like, <laughs> oh. paint, paint. Paid, paid. Oh man, me and Demon Hunter were fucking pissing ourselves laughing last night at the concept of. Uh, we, we were talking about, like, I, I want to try and make the Xeno Boon uh, into a t shirt. And, like, I don't know what kind of caption we'd put on it or whatever. And then fucking Demon Hunter Bear turned around and was like, fuck Africa. <laughs> Oh no, I, I think I said, he was like, something to do with Africa, and I was like, fuck Africa. And then he was like, that'd make a great t-shirt if you just had a t-shirt that just said, fuck Africa written on it. And I was like, imagine how funny it'd be if, like, you got a really, like, really jacked uh, African fella, like, like really African looking, like, really black, like, you know, from, like, Uganda or fucking Nigeria or something, like, 
and he's like jacked and he goes he goes to the gym and wears a black t-shirt and all it has is white like block capital letters and it just says fuck africa <laughs> And like they, they, you can just like record people's reactions and stuff like it'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, we were laughing so hard at that last week. Paint, paint. My, my fucking cheeks were killing me from how much we were laughing last night. And I know what, what, like when I got halfway through that sentence I just said, it was like, hold on a minute. Like, my cheeks were killing me after last night. It's like, what the fuck were you doing? It's like, my, my, my cheeks, I was laughing. Not, not my other cheeks, you filthy fuck. <laughs> I love phrasing. It's like one of the easiest ways to be fucking hilarious is just phrasing. Painting goo 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 goo. Big fucking bagel. <laughs> like the bear on the bear and the fucking uh, and the eagle on the roller coaster, like going along. And it's like, what happens when we go through the bagel? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine it like it's like a portal to a fucking uh, dimension where. Every, everything is how Jews think it should be. <laughs> right, okay. Put a bit of black in there. Shade the inside of it and the sides of it. Give it that 3D bagel look. <laughs> Goo. goo 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 is uh is how much like how much noise is the brush making on the page is that guy's annoying you because I, I was watching uh, over the stream that I did like last week and I noticed that when I'm when I did the background to this painting like the brush was like really being picked up by the mic and I'm just wondering if people find that irritating because I kind of did <laughs> so, like... 
I'll try and be less uh I'll try and be less firm so that like you don't hear too much like scratching and shit like you know Oh, I need to finish my Java before it goes cold. No clue, bro. He made some horrible comments about my kids. That have to oh my god. Jesus. He's lucky he's in Australia. He made the he made the disgusting comments on his live stream like uh, 10 days ago. Does that say 10 days? Or, or like one day ago? 10 days ago? Jesus Christ. Fuck that fella. Like, fucking hell. Like fucking calling me a simp and all this shit like you know i know he's like fucking saying shit about your kids like fucking hell like i do i i, I pity him you know which is mad because like the old me would just be like jesus christ fuck that little shit like you know but like you can tell that he's just in a lot of like he just can't see the forest through the trees. Like, he's just blinded by, like, how much pain he's in and, like, how, how he feels, like, hard done by by life and all this shit, like, ten, about ten days ago. Fuck that, like. Fuck him. Like, that's the sort of guy that, like... That, like, that's the sort of guy that, like, is eventually just left to his own devices. He's, he's eventually just left on his own because, like, like that's how you fucking burn bridges. Like, fuck that, like, going to say shit about someone's kids. Like, fuck me out, like. What a dickhead, like. Paint, paint. Right, I'm gonna get the grey out and I'm gonna make these, uh, carts, uh, more. I'm gonna make them stand out more. They're very, uh, they're very vague and opaque right now, in my humble opinion. So we get a bit of white. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even need to make black there. Just, <laughs> there's still a bit of like brown tone or little bit of grey and shit like that so I just moved a section of white to the right of the pa of the parrot and it just immediately immediately went like a nice shade of grey <laughs> beautiful hiya there we go painting go 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 So, the, light, the lighter side is over here, so we're going to make these ones, these sides are going to get the most light, because of the angle I have the, uh, I was going to say trays, carts, the angle I have the carts at, I'm going to get the most light here, here, here here on this one this one's going to be darker because the light's not hitting it and you're going to get light here here painting goo goo Gas lately, like I've been, I've been thinking that I, I would actually like to teach art my way, and like, be like, well, well, this is, this is what made me get better, and this is, you know, how I do things and stuff like that, like. I'm always trying to boil, boil shit down to its fundamentals, so the information is. Uh, easier to comprehend and quicker to process and also easier to remember you know like they did kind of teach us stuff like that in school like you know like fucking come up with a rhyme so you remem remember something or some shit like you know it's like any bit of knowledge or information that i come across i try to like boil it down to its essence 
and then like stick it in my mind somewhere, you know. That's why I've never been one of these, you know, fucking read a whole book on theory of something like a particular subject. Like pick something, fucking pick a, you know, like biology. I I wouldn't like get all of these textbooks on biology. I would like listen to lectures while uh, looking at people do drawings and stuff like like, and I'd fucking watch like documentaries. Like I like I I believe it's much. It, it could be just a personal preference, but I think it is like fundamentally easier to learn something through like seeing it happen and work and like and like getting your hands on it and doing stuff like that like which is interesting because i remember on the last stream last week i was talking about how like fucking surgeons are like psychopathic because they want to like touch the inside of people um but i suppose there is an element of like logic to that where, like, how are you really going to know how something works or um, its relationship to other things in a system unless you're able to, like, actually, like, hold it in your hand and, like, develop a relationship with it where you're like, oh, okay, I get it now, like, you know. Kind of like how a monkey, like, you know, inspects things which are, like, you know, getting real close to it and shit and, like, holding it right up to their face and stuff. Like, I'm quite like that, like, in a primal way. Like, I'd say most people are, like, on a fundamental level where, like, your mind looks at, like yeah i even do that like you know the way a dog tilts its head stuff like i do that <laughs> i'll look at something i'll go huh <laughs> like, i don't know maybe i am part werewolf i don't know like <laughs> the elf has transitioned to gollum <laughs> all you can do is pity <laughs> i like the brush sounds takes me back to my bob ross days yeah i figured some people would like it and then some people would find it irritating i'm one of those people that find certain sounds very irritating um like if somebody is just like squeezing cotton wool or uh this squeaky noise of styrofoam i find it irritating it like fucks with my nervous system but like i'm not one of those people who will have like a fucking autistic meltdown if like you hear it or like you, somebody won't stop doing it it just annoys me you know and um, so when i was watching back on the stream i was like hmm i wonder how i wonder how impactful that is like because you could you could really hear it like you know but i get it like some people are like oh, i love that noise just like scout scouse loves the noise of the bucket but i also like the noise of the bucket you know because it's not a scratchy noise it's like a a bassy noise everybody has their preferences Painting, go, 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 go. Angles on this one are a bit off. Paint, paint. Paint cart. Paint, paint. I can just increase the... I can change. I can change the line here on the roller coaster. So I, I, I will increase the amount of black. <laughs> and it'll make things look better. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Uh. The sounds of stroking and squirting are welcome on painting. <laughs> yeah, the the incredible amount of sexual innuendo on this stream is fucking hilarious. Here on painting goo, we squirt with purpose. <laughs> I will not apologize for the necessary squirting. <laughs> paint, paint. <sighs> oh. Painting. Goo goo.
paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Just a little bit of black. A little bit. I want to slightly increase... Like, I want to go down, like, one or two shades <coughs> of grey. Oi. Painting. Goo goo. I think the the rule of three I've like I've become quite comfortable with and rely on quite heavily where it's like I think I've said this before. There's a, and there's a few ways you can employ it. Like there's a rule of thirds in like uh, creating like proportionally correct heads for characters and stuff. But like I think shading you could also have a rule of three where it's like it's really a rule of five, you know, but it's, it's like three in between one and five. Where like you have your highlight and then at the other end you have your like black, which is just like, you know, your shadow area. But in between you have like like take the take the bagel, right? You have I should like I should put really bright uh brown here on the on the very rim of it or at certain points and maybe even a point of like um brown that's almost like beige it's like so white at certain points to highlight where the light is hitting it and then you go the medium brown and then the dark brown and that's what creates the appearance of shading and shape and depth and color and all this shit like look at the difference in the carts already it's crazy like you know what I mean? like, and it's not difficult, it's just following rules, like, do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I think I'm going a little bit darker even, you know? Paint, paint, goo goo. Paint, paint, goo goo. I was applying a, uh, I ha I've actually, like, haven't practiced doing this at all. Um, I, I was applying uh, two layers of gesso, or gesso, as, as I've heard people call it. Which is essentially, like, an acrylic primer. Um, for canvases and paper and shit. Um, and I don't, I don't usually use it. You're like, you're supposed to. They say that it makes it like way better. The paint adheres better. It's like a better surface to paint on and on. And uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to finally uh, figure out how much of a difference it makes and what it feels like and stuff. But um, they say that you want to put at least two coats on, and then sand it. So I know there's sandpaper in the house somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna have to find it. And I've put two coats on them now. So I'm actually like. I'm a bit excited, like, you know, to, like, put paint on them. On the, I did one of them on a canvas board, and then one of them on a wood panel, where I put two uh, two coats of gesso on it. And uh, I can see, I can see what they're on about, because I actually, like, uh, I started doing my symmetricals and paintings on foam boards uh, when I started three years ago. And that's one of the things that I really liked uh, about doing it on the foam, uh, foam boards, was, like, they have, like, a smooth finish. And uh, when I got my gouache to like the right amount of like the, the ratio of water to gouache the, the right consistency man the fucking color would just like flow like water like right across the thing like especially if i like if i'm working on a, on a flat surface and i'm just have the thing laid out flat like a sign writer and i'm using the sign writing brushes to just like lay down these layers of color and all and they're just like immediately highly saturated immediately really vib vibrant and matte and like clean looking <clears throat> and then it's even easier to go like go back into them and like cut them in sections and stuff like that's i have like a little kind of like obsession with that stuff when it comes to the symmetricals where like you do a color and then you cut into it with another color and the the way that you can do certain things where like depending on how much paint you have on the brush or something you can get these like really sharp clean looking like slices and like brush strokes 
into another section of color that you've already painted like you know and i just think they're fucking great looking i love how like uh, like the feathered effect of certain things that you can get like definitely gonna try and do a lot of that in the next symmetrical i do No, I'll use that here. So I was saying to Demon Hunter last night is uh I'm gonna do the tactical turtle t-shirt and I have the um painting goo t-shirt to do as well. And then once I do that, I think I'm gonna try and just hold off on random creation projects like that for a few weeks and I'm going to try and get like a really nice symmetrical done on that big canvas I bought paint paint because that's like my jam that's it's my bread and butter is like these abstract symmetrical images that you can just like stare at for ages The type of thing you're like I don't know what it is but it's cool looking paint paint painting goo 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 <coughs> oh yeah Ah, the Peddleroo graces us with his presence. You will honor us with your arrival, Joe Gaganu. Welcome -o to Painting Goo. Um, there is a hilarious Archer episode about surgeons in the latest season. Hilarious. I'll have to check it out. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, if owner ownery I had Huru again. <laughs> Wait, is Archer on Hulu or something, is it? It's weird, there's two se the season nine and season eleven are missing from uh Archer on Netflix. I don't understand that. Like they'll fucking get uh we're bringing CSI is coming to Netflix and it's like only seasons like 16, 16 through 19 but 18 isn't there or something like it's like what the fuck it's like you can, like from my perspective from what i can tell like you know just off the bat for a uh, uh, face value it's like netflix just buys the cheapest shittiest seasons of things and like puts them up for a while like it's fucking hilarious How are you? How are you, Gaganu? Are you well -oo? I'm quite good, despite going to bed far too late. Um, I'm surprisingly full of energy today. <laughs> Maybe it's the honey in my coffee. I don't know. Painting. Goo goo. Paint, paint. Goo goo. Paint paint. <laughs> Clear throat. Painting. Goo goo. I do love mixing colors on the parrot. Paint paint. If I was any better, they would have put me in a straight jacket and take me straight to the hospital. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's an excellent way to be, brother. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! You know what that means? It's that time of day! It's been a while! It's been a while! There is Let's a fucking do this shit. Rinked in price. and you two bitches Microsoft can go fuck yourself! It's time for Raving Goo! Let's fucking goo. What's this? Rint? I have a no time for your chocolate. I am not. D uh, don't get me wrong, lint is delicious. But this adver advertisement is not workamoo on painting goo. Do you is not workamoo who here who who who? What's this? Amazon? Fuck are you? So many ads, you. It's March. It's March, the Irish pot of gold month. <laughs> Fremingu. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Riv, Raff, Rov, <laughs> Paint. Raff is also spelled or a. Or a U G H. That's how it, that's how I'm spelling it on the T-shirt. Instead of live, laugh, love, it's riv, raff, rove. And like, I know people are gonna look at like raff and and be like, raug. What the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, I wanna do a, I wanna do a proper like promotional thing on Instagram and Telegram and stuff for the painting goo t-shirt. I think a lot of people will want a painting goo t-shirt. Everybody from Scouse to Telecaster Bear to fucking like even Woo Woo here probably want a painting goo t-shirt. <laughs> Riv, Raf, Rov, and Rasri, Rave. <laughs> that can be that can be the next painting goo t-shirt. Is Riv, Raff, Rov, Rave. <laughs> I'll do it like instead of doing it in black and white, I'll do it in like neon colors. <laughs> painting goo goo, painting goo 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 goo. Paint, 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 paint. Goo. Right, we go real dark grey now. A wicker, a wicker squirt. Tiny squirt. A necessary squirt. Nearly there. It's not dark enough. P -p -p paint goo 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 mm, painting goo goo mm, painting goo goo still not dark enough 
There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful dark gray. Painting goo 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 Allow the music to permeate your spina. Goo 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 goo. Goo 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 goo. Mm, goo 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 goo. Excellent. Ah, look at them in all their glory. They're much better looking than they were. Painting goo goo, painting goo goo, painting goo goo. Right, time to frex my fan. To herp the goo dry goo. Oh, how dare you interrupt the goo with your frivolous advertisement -o. My On demon -o. Painting goo 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 goo. The elf just wrote on my channel he is watching. <laughs> Let him watch. May he watch. And weep. <laughs> I'd wear it. Which one? The fucking painting goo t-shirt or the neon one? Probably both. Maybe printer bear could be your... Uh... Man, uh, I'm way ahead of you. I'm already, t I'm already talking to him. I have a fucking painting goo uh, t-shirt prototype. Did I put it in the Telegram chat? I can't remember. Um, I think I, I did. I think I did put a screenshot of the... Yeah, because I was like, thoughts, question mark. Um, I've been talking to Printer Bear. Printer Bear is mocking up a uh, prototype. Or a mo he's, he's doing a mock-up uh, as we speak. Of the first paint, the first official painting goo t-shirt. Blue and pink, Rion. Yeah, like the baby blue and hot pink. Baby, baby blue and hot pink. Like, um, like my little demon dude. <clears throat> the guy, Hugh, Hugh the human, uh, fucking, or Hugh the, Hugh the home is what I called him. You know the way the Hugh of man or whatever, like, but I, I call Hugh, uh, the little demon dude that I have, uh, holding up, the holding, holding the halo on a piece of string. The guy who shows up in the corner of the stream when you pay for painting goo. Um, so that and the retarded chicken have gone to Bud Bear for, uh, stickers. And then there's the fucking painting goo t-shirt, so... Things are happening. Things are in motion. Painting goo. Painting goo. It's dry -o. Let's go. Painting goo. 
Painting good. Painting good. Right, what was the other thing we were going to do? An eager. An eager! That's, that's fucking like really dark green. That's not really dark brown. How dare you? There is something incredibly cathartic about beating the shit out of a brush. <laughs> hmm. Painting goo 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 goo. Painting goo goo. Oh yeah! Painting goo 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 paint. Paint. Trying to get the right brown for a, an Igor. Painting goo goo. Goo goo. Goo goo. Goo paint. Paint! There we go. Beautiful. Where the fuck's two acre? Need to get him to send me my address. Or send send me his address. My address. You! Send me my address! <laughs> oh god. Painting goo 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 goo. Painting goo 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 goo. Oh how dare you! I was in fro! And you ruined it! Now I must. Reattain it. Go, 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 go,
Painting goo 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 goo. I'll whack the shit out of that bitch. One, one, one. Way ahead of me, awesome. <laughs> Indeed! I have taken the initiative. Um, yeah, it's in the Telegram chat, awesome. Gotta rub the hate watchers. I know, like, give, give me views! <laughs> like, like, watch me and hate me all you want. You're still watching me. Oh god, how I pity thee. Imagine spending your time doing that. Like, imagine watching something you don't like. Like, that would be like me forcing myself to watch Grey's Anatomy and, like, uh, constantly talk about why I hate Grey's Anatomy while watching Grey's Anatomy. You know, like, what the fuck? Like, I seen that, uh, that Liz Antoinette cunt followed me on Rumble, like, last week or something. And, uh, I took a look at her Rumble page. I, like, was just curious. And I was like, oh my god. It's like peering into Psychoville. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, like, two, three hour streams all about a community and a guy that you don't like. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, that's crazy, <laughs> And like some of them have like a hundred views, like so I'm like, like who the fuck, who watches that? Let alone like being whore and creating content about like someone you don't like and a community you don't like, and you're like, look at them, Blah. like just this like jab of the hot, greasy, fell cunt energy of like I hate them, <laughs> like. Like, what the fuck? It's so, it's so, like, disgusted and, like, uh, repellent to, like, my kind of energy, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I looked at it for, like, five, I scrolled down her videos for, like, five minutes and looked at some of the titles and how long the videos were and all, and how many views and shit, and I was just like, holy shit, there's, like, something seriously wrong with these people, like, look at him, look at him, like, you know, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even understand if you were, like, hating on and spending that much time talking about Trump or Hitler, but fucking Owen Benjamin, <laughs> like, a fucking comedian, like, I like, don't get me wrong, on a level that when you analyze it, it makes sense, because it's like, he's a comedian, so he takes the shit, he takes the piss, and when you take the piss out of someone who doesn't like, or someone or something, and, like, people don't have a good sense of humor, and they get pathological and shit, like, they hate you because they can't, uh, they can't accept the truth of the matter. They can't see what you see, so they just hate you because you represent part of what they hate, so they just, like, hyper-focus and shit, like, I get it, it makes sense, you know, like, uh, on a level where you have to, like, comprehend the reality of the, the, the properties of the situation, like the parameters of the situation and everyone involved and whose point of view, like, like I, I possess the creative intellect to put myself in someone else's shoes as, as far as like, you know, 
conceptually and objectively possible from still being me, you know? And, like, what a... What a pathetic and, like, sad existence these people must have. I've briefly imagined what, like, a... A, a day in the life of a fucking gamma or a hater would be like, dear God on high, it's such a fucking like utterly pathetic existence. Desperate, you know. And like, it's like when you try to, you know, when you first become a truther and all, and you're like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta wake people up, I gotta let people know. Like, I remember when Cuties came out on Netflix, and I like, ran down to my mother in the sitting room, and I was like, we need to cancel Netflix. This shit is like, off the wall. It's getting so bad, like, do you know what I mean? Like, fucking 12-year-olds twerking, like, what the fuck's going on? Like, and she was just like, what, why would I cancel Netflix? <laughs> you know, look, she looked at me like I was crazy, like, do you know what I mean? I'm just like... They don't care. Nobody cares. I care. You know? I give a fuck. So I've, like, over the past, like, seven years, like, or so, like, between, like, before joining the Bears, uh, and, like, watching Owen and all this shit, like, I was already starting to, like, pick myself apart in terms of, like, okay, well, like, how, how am I being a hypocrite? And, like, you know, how am I, like, engaging in things that, like, I fucking can't stand? And, like, how am I using my free will or even foregoing my free will in certain situations, like... And it's, like, profoundly fascinating to, like... face truth. You know, like, because, yeah, on a level, it's, like, humbling and, like, shameful in certain aspects, because you're like, oh my god, like, I've done... really, like, degenerate shit, and, like... I've... I've been horrible to people, and, like... I've uh, justified it because they hurt me or like how I felt or something like that and like that's an incredibly feminine thing to do like do you know what I mean like I'm a man you know or I was a young boy at the time and like surrounded by the same kind of energy like do you know what I mean where it's like you just see all these examples of people like who have absolutely no idea what they're doing in this existence or how to behave or how to uh, carry themselves or like you know fucking what would be what's the fucking word how to uh conduct yourself in life I mean the whole thing of like monkey see monkey do and like you when you grow up like I did in the 90s and you see it's like oh monkey see monkey do and you see the other monkeys and what they do and you're just like well I don't want to be like those monkeys you know I want to be my own kind of monkey I want to be a monkey king <laughs> heck Bud Brayer, Printer Bear, Legends. Uh, it would appear they are. Indeed. From my experience so far, they're really cool. Real easy to talk to. Totally up for, like, you know, just, like, full of positivity and, like, yeah, we'll give it a go. Like, you know. And I really appreciate that because that's what I try to be like. When somebody comes to me with an idea and they're like, oh, you should do this. I'm like, hell yeah, that sounds awesome. And then I try and do it, like, you know. And sometimes it causes me a great amount of stress. <laughs> oh... Is that an everything bagel? <laughs> Indeed, do. I might act like. How will I make it an everything bagel? Bagel? Will I just like place random shit in it? I might do that towards the end of the painting group. Um. In a roward state too. Garums. Ga Garums. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. It's a rife resin. Don't create idols. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Don't idolize anything or anything or anyone. Don't idolize shit, you know? Don't idolize a damn thing. He doesn't post vids of himself, just interesting items from other sources, not original content. <laughs> Is that what they say about him? Is that what, like, those cunts say about him? He doesn't post vids of himself. He doesn't post vids of himself, just interesting items from other sources, not original content. Um, that's like, who are they saying that about? Are they saying that about Owen? Because that's hilariously ridiculous. Like, dude literally sits there with a piano and like fucking makes up songs on the fly. Like, <laughs> did the same with my fam, except I was the only one who cancelled Netflix. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Painting? Goo 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 goo. Painting? Goo 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 goo. Painting, goo 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 goo. Oh God, he's coming back! Get out of here! Painting, goo 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 goo. Painting goo Painting goo Painting goo mm -hmm. An advertisement? How dare they? Repeated infringements of my space on painting goo. The nerve. Denmark Baru, welcome to painting goo. How are you? Before you ask, no. The eager has not rendered yet. I am still eagerly awaiting your package. I literally can't say that without laughing. I am eagerly awaiting your package. Like, Jesus. Paint. Sip, sip. Wie geht's this fine Montag, Denmark Barrow? Painting goo. Fan Frex. I'm going to make sure that white on its head is, uh, on the eagle's head is dry before I go in to do the beak. Because I don't want the white and the yellow to blend. That's what I love about the gouache though, dry like especially if you aid it in drawing, um, it dries like super quick. <laughs> kind of fucking uh, went a bit overzealous with that eagle. Can't even really tell it's in a cart. <laughs> the bear, the bear looks fine though. Bear looks like he's having a great old time. <laughs> Nobody's having more fun than the bear. <laughs> oh god. Right. A rick a bit of yarrow. Put this bitch back for the moment. Get back at there, bitch. Need this bitch. Precise bitch versus frat bitch. 
<laughs> Instead of flat bitch, it's frat bitch. Oh man. Monkey! Hand me the frat bitch! <laughs> oh fuck it hell. Yeah, I was gonna do it like this. Just a setup. That's not actually what his smile's gonna look like. <laughs> just laying the foundation for his beautiful visage. Painting, painting. Oh, how dare you! I was about to get in fro, you fucking bitch! How dare you! Painting, go, painting, go, painting, go, painting, go. Oh, lost it. Pedigree, go. No. Pedigree, pedigree. No, I lost it. I was in time there. God damn it. Pedigree, pedigree, pedigree. No, yeah, doesn't sound right. No one enjoys a burpoo more than Defender of Sun. Well, they're good for you. Get that shit out. <laughs> okay, what else are we going to do? I mean, we've we've a cart here and a cart here and a cart here. So we have the eagle and the bear. And then I'll stick a lot of random shit in the bagel. What else are we going to do? This isn't a regular painting goo. This is just a made-up painting goo while I fill the hat and do other things. This is a chat-made painting goo. 
We shall definitely be doing more of them. Chat made painting goods are going to be hilarious. Some random shit. It's just something about trying to paint straight lines. I just, I'm obsessed with it. Like, <laughs> maybe I should have been a commercial painter. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, so, I'm so, like, artistic about getting, like, something really straight. Like, <laughs> I'm like the antithesis of gay. <laughs> no, it can be straighter. <laughs> like, it's not straight enough. Painting Google. That's better. That's much better. P 
<laughs> pile of shoes. Put a pile of shoes on the foot. <laughs> Will you put a pile of shoes in one of the carts? Definitely. I'll just put a load of shoes in one of the carts. That's totally... Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. See you later, Corbear. Sorry if I missed you. The wooden doors. We <laughs> put a, a pair of wooden doors sticking it. Like, just everything in the Holocaust now that we can stick in the painting goo. We'll stick in the painting goo. Holo Holocausting goo. Oh. Have you seen those warriors from Hammerfell? They have curved swords. Defender who? How gay. <laughs> Oh, I like the best. The best swords are curved. They're slightly bent. <laughs> like, like they, if you look at a katana, it's not a curve. It's like straight, and then it takes like a slight gradient, you know, in a certain direction. Like, you can almost break them down into sections. Like, some of them are more stiff than others. Like, you know, but like they're not like scimitars where it's like right off the bat. From the from the hilt, there's a curve to to the whole blade. Katanas actually start off straight and then like dip slightly out, you know. <laughs> That's why I love jabs. <laughs> the the base is straight, and then it gets a little bit weird at the top. <laughs> Paint the gay away, indeedo. Painting. Oh yeah. Okay, there's no point in me trying to start anything new right now. I've only got three minutes left. So I'm just gonna fix this bit here. Right, ladies, gentlemen, bears, barrettes, niggers, niggerettes. This concludes today's painting, Goo. I hope you enjoyed, Ingu. I know I did. Do. We made a good progress on today's painting, Goo. The carts are much more vibrant and solidified, solidified. We now have an eager. And the bear is looking retardedly happy. This brings me joy. So, until tomorrow, when I will return, same place, same place, same time, same high octane painting energy. If you would like to support the stream, consider donating. Rink in description. If you would like to support the stream through a different means, I take PayPal. You can buy some merchandise. Rink also in description. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, if you're not already on YouTube. You may also view Painting Goo on a rumber, although there's only some of them there. So, in conclusion, I bid thee farewell, God bless, and I will see you tomorrow. 
Say goodbye to Garros and all the friends of Painting Goo. Mini Beru, purveyor, purveyor of the Mapu, even though we don't have the Mapu on the screen. Ooh. Titus Beakus Kroos, keeper of the Gong U, and Garros, our resident formerly addicted to cocaine, Tigeru, whose arms never tire, as he tells you to Rika and subscriber, Yakanta. Indeed, ooh, this was a fine painting. I hope you enjoyed Ingu, and I will see you tomorrow. Be good, be true, and be beautiful. Farewell, mortars. Until next time, -a. goodbye. -a. Painting. Some are stiffer than others, phrasing. God bless you, er, Tudors. Bye bye and farewell. Painting, Google, painting.